Hello. Hi, Jay. It's Cheryl. It's just after 9am in Possel, North Glasgow. Cheryl's on the phone to her dealer, who isn't far away. Drugs are never far away around here. Scotland's drug deaths crisis keeps getting worse, and this is how it's happening. Because within just a few minutes of that call, Cheryl returns with 50 pills in her hand. So that's 250 Valium. Aye. How much did that cost you? Uh, how much These drugs they? are fake yeah. Valiums, really an unknown mix of benzodiazepines that have flooded into Scotland's streets to devastating effect. You're just taking all of them? This could have killed Cheryl, but the drugs come easy. It's getting help to come off the drugs that's much harder. He's been waiting a year to get into rehab. You've been waiting a year to get to rehab? So, I mean, how, how long would you be waiting for drugs if you tried to get drugs right now? Two seconds. Two seconds. I could walk around that corner and get Two seconds. Two seconds, honestly. But Two to get seconds. the actual help to come off the drugs? No. no. Get no help. No help. Cheryl then goes home to take the rest of her pills alone in a flat. She started taking drugs aged just 10. She's now 43. This is a delicate question, Cheryl, but... Are you never worried that you just won't wake up? Sometimes. Sometimes I. No, but I like you. Sometimes I wish when I wake up. More than 1,300 people died from drugs in 2020, the worst on record. A majority of these deaths involved the benzodiazepine pills, and Scotland's drug death rate is now three and a half times higher than the rest of the UK and the worst in Europe. Today there was a protest organised by those who have lost loved ones to drugs. And we're getting increase upon increase of these deaths. How can that be right? Frontline addiction workers told us it's cuts to services that have made Scotland's drug problem so bad. I have 178 clients, all of whom would love to go into residential care, all of whom have fought for all their life to get there. There's no places, there's no beds. ITV News has investigated Scotland's drug crisis for four years now, exposing a shocking reality and challenging those in power. There's an awful lot of talking to, going on while well, people are dying. There is a lot. We are taking action now. The increased funding for treatment services. Today we showed that interview to Scotland's new dedicated drugs minister. That was the first minister two years ago saying that the government was tackling this properly. Why then in that time have almost 3,000 people died? Well, there's been a very uh, stark acknowledgement from the government. The government's had the humility to acknowledge that we've not done enough. Do you want to take this opportunity to apologise to the people who have lost loved ones? I am deeply, deeply sorry. Among the numbers of Scotland's drug deaths is Aaron Stewart. He died last May, aged just 26. Hi, son. Every night since, his mother has come here after work to say goodnight. To see you. He's no coming back. Pointless. And he was loved beyond words. He was loved beyond words. This is the pain behind those statistics. Good night, darling. And Scotland's drug crisis is still getting worse.